Good day. In this short tutorial, I want to explain to you how to use Academic Search Ultimate to find journal articles. Especially during these times, you might like to do some research on your own, although the campus librarian and all the librarians are still on duty. But let me explain to you how to find journal articles electronically. So from the university's homepage, you click on Library. Then you will see the Resources tab and you click on Electronic Resources. Then you will see the A to Z database list and you can click on the A to Z database list. And the very first one is Academic Search Ultimate. Now this is a full text international database. In other words, it covers a vast spectrum of topics and it's full text. So you will see the PDF link immediately and you can download that on your computer. So you click on Academic Search Ultimate you will be asked to authenticate yourself. That is just your normal um, login details. I'm already signed in, but you will get an authentication um, drop down menu. You just type in your normal uh, login details, either your student number and password, or if you are a staff member, your normal password that you use, your campus password. Right, so then you have your search box over here. I'm going to look for information regarding um, isolation and online learning. So I will type in isolation and online learning. You can just notice I used and. We call that a Boolean operator, and that is just to link our search terms together. So my search terms is isolation and online learning. So what I'm instructing the system to do is to search for articles that has both isolation and online learning in the context. So then, or the content. So then I click on search, and we just give it a bit of a time. And then you will see these 133 articles related to isolation and online learning. I think something that's quite relevant in these times with online learning, it's one of the aspects um, that students struggle with is, is the isolation. So then you can read more about it. Then you have some limiters there on your left hand side. You can limit it to just full text articles. You will see there's the PDF I've spoken about. So I'm limiting it to I want all the PDF articles. And you can also limit it uh, according to date. Uh, we just give it some time. It's still circling there. Right, so then you see the date there. It's from 1999. Now in research, we normally say we search within a 10-year period. So then I can drag it and I can say articles from 20. 10 up to 2020, you will see it's updating there. And now I've got 68 articles related to isolation and online learning. Right, so you get an abstract there. There's your authors and uh, the journal in which it was published, the year, the volume, the page numbers, um, and your author over there. So that's all your bibliographical detail you'll find there. And then you have the PDX, PDF. So you can quickly read the abstract, see if it's going to be relevant or not. Then you click on the PDF so that you can read or get access to the full article. It will download on your screen. So this is really a lovely database to work with. You have your article here on your screen. We just give it some time. And then you have tools here on your right hand side. Right, so here's our article. And you can see it's 14 pages long. Once again, you've got your bibliographical detail over there, the journal in which it was published, the volume, the year, the date, and you've got the DOI number as well. Now, what you can also do is if you want to share this with a colleague, you've got an email tool over there. So you click on the email and you can type in your um, colleague or fellow student's email address there. And you can say journal article. Remember to click send in plain text format. So I'm just going to send this to myself so that you can just see. So I just type in my email address there. I'm just going to say journal article and then I can send. So this is a wonderful way to collaborate uh, with your colleagues um, while we are not working in our offices. Right, so then your colleagues will also, or your fellow students will also receive this article. You can also print it over there. 
um, in order to save it on your computer as well. So this is really a very lovely database to work with. I will really um, recommend um, Academic Search Ultimate to you as a starting point for your research as it's a multidisciplinary database. I hope you found this tutorial helpful.